So, Ackle Island is off the west coast of Ireland and it has eight or else nine beaches. We're starting here on the north side of Ackle. You can drive to Ackle over a bridge, so um, I'm showing you the Strand Hotel. It is just uh, right beside a beach called Dugart. D-U-G-O-R-T Dugart Strand and it's also known as Silver Strand and this is it here so the Ackle swimmers will be coming here in 15 minutes to swim this beach I hope you can see that okay it's a gorgeous day very gentle that is right out Lovely bay. So uh, the TripAdvisor reports on that Strand Hotel said that its location was one of the best attributes of the hotel and I would agree I've stayed in that and yep the location cannot be beaten like it's just right on the beach. So the first beach Today will be Dugard Beach. Thank you very much. So the second beach on the list is Golden Strand. It is 10.35 on Saturday the 16th of November 2019. And uh, this is called Golden Strand. It's the next one clockwise. From the Silver Strand. So that's some information. Yeah, it's getting a bit shaky this video because I'm getting into a bit of shivering. Let me just show you where we are. Yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. Golden Strand. Okay. So we started on Silver Strand, there, and now we've gone to Golden Strand, okay. Now look at that beach there, that's lovely. Sand dunes, very level sand dunes over to the right. Again, you're on the northern side of the beach. Flip me, I'm shaking like mad. Can't stop shaking. <laughs> that water's cool in there. Gee, it's almost, I'm sorry about the shaking. <laughs> uh, still, lovely beach. Some sheep there. Oh my god, that's desperate coverage. Right. So, second beach, let's give that a shot. Sorry about the shaking. This is a better uh, view of this Golden Strand Beach. Just uh, give you a pan of this. Again, sorry about the coverage, but there you go. So, rocks in the very, uh, very far end of that beach. But the rest of it is sand. Um, boulder, uh, boulder at the top here, and then the sand dunes. Jeez, sorry about the chicken. Now that is a lovely beach. Just lovely. Uh, some mountains in the background there as well, actually. And that's looking back up to the car park. Some life belts on the beach too. Okay, let's go for a dip. Right, it's five past eleven, and this is Ridge Point. Now, I don't know what beach this is, but uh, 
It's the next one round anyway, from Golden Sands. So it was a high water last night with the full moon. And uh, on the Golden Sands, a lot of seaweed had come all up in one go. So that's a lot of lovely bay. On a, on a summer, on a sunny day that the place would be lovely. Lots of rocks high up on the beach just shows you the amount of force that, that water has coming in here. So again very very shallow beach. Yep. Mountains in the background. Here we go. This is Duga Beach. It is 10 to 12 on uh, Saturday the 16th of November. So um, at the east side of the beach, there's those uh, shed units, SHED, concrete units for storm defence. And uh, again, once again, a very shallow beach. This is on south facing beach on the island. There is a pier. You've got some houses there. And then uh, it backs onto a concrete wall. And again, those heavy boulders at the back of the beach. Flat roofed uh, concrete building at the back. Duga Beach, it's quite a small beach. So, sheltered in a southerly wind, I'm sure. No, sheltered in a northerly wind. Okay, here we go. So it is uh, 12.40 on Saturday, the 16th of November. This here is Clock Moor. Clock Moor, it's the very, very southern end of Ackle Island. And there's a big industrial pier here. Now, yeah, it is sandy, but this is not a great place to swim. Look at that flow out there. I don't know if you can see it, but that is flowing like a river out there. Uh, there's a heron. Let me just see if you can see him. Yeah, there's the heron. Hopefully you can see him there, just on the land-sea interface there. So, a word of caution on this one. It's not really a beach, really. It's uh, sure it's a bit of sand. Across the way there, actually, there's an island, and it has a beach. I don't know if you can see that. That is definitely an island there. But uh, that that is a river, basically. The tide is just pumping in there. So, I might just get wet here, but that's a bit out of it. I'm, not, I'm definitely not gonna go out into that flow. Lobster pots. So this here is a really busy port, I would say. And uh, definitely don't want to get caught in that flow. You won't be swimming that fast. Okay. Okay. It is five past three on Saturday, the sixteenth of November. And this is the largest of all the beaches on Agal Island. Um, that's the entrance to it. There, a car park. This is a south facing beach, uh, it's a blue flag beach and uh, it is huge, absolutely enormous beach. I don't know how anybody would swim the length of that, but there you go. Uh, this is Kiel, KWEL, right on the south side. So uh, it's supposed to start raining around now and sure to it it is. It is uh, beginning all right. Very shallow beach, full of sand, uh, except as you can see with the boulders and high tides. Uh, very popular with swimmers. Life rings as usual there. There is the blue flag actually, which denotes the blue flag beach. then you know okay game on
It is 25 to 4 at the minute. Uh, this is Dua D O O A G H Beach. This is actually a disappearing beach. Uh, in the 1980s it was gone and then it came back. So there's not much sand on it at the minute. I don't know whether it's coming or going at the minute, but that's one of the magical features of this beach. That's the village of Dua. Now that uh, breeze is coming in from the south and that's why that swell is there. So the south side of this island at the minute is, uh, is lively. So here we go, that is Dua Beach. Quite a small beach. Okay, thanks. So it is four o'clock um, on Saturday. We are at Kim. Now I know that sounds like K-I-M, but it's not, it's actually here. K-E-E-M. It looks like Kim, but they're all calling it Kim, okay? So that Dua beach, there was a definitely a westerly uh, pull to that water. Uh, yep, it definitely was trying to take me west. So just keep your eye on that when you're there. This is by far, I think anyway, the nicest beach on Ackill Island. Look at the backdrop, massive uh, mountains here coming in to a real gully type. Sorry for the shaking here. Um, car park on down there as well this is just real busy during the summer it's just so pretty because of these uh, because of the way it's framed even though that is to the south it is sheltered so you're always going to get a swim in here when the sun's shining that is a nice wee place now as I say sorry about the footage here I'm just shivering a bit here so, uh, just gorgeous, uh, lovely sand, lovely backdrop. That was like an old, there you are, somebody's, somebody's in that at the minute, there's smoke coming out of that chimney. So, somebody's there. Yeah, just lovely. So I think this is the second last beach on the island. I have to go up to the northeast after this. So let's just see what this is like. Okay, here we go. Well, I know it's getting dark. It is five past five, Saturday the 16th of November, 19. And this is Duniver, D-O-O-N-I-V-E-R. Now that's supposed to be a strand, but I don't make that, I'm afraid to say. There's supposed to be Europe's highest tide there, through that gap over there on the right. So be super careful here. Yeah, there's a bit of sand, I'll give you that. Actually on round, there's more, but there's no road ne next to that. So, there's just a bit of a castle up there. Uh, an old kind of house castle and there is uh, a private dwelling up there with somebody's in it a couple of houses up there so Dunover it is a bit of sand so I'm going to be swimming it it is officially a beach so there you go right gotta go it's getting dark here let's go so it is 20 past 5 here uh, at the last beach can't even remember the name of it it wasn't much of a beach but uh, the thing was there was a massive flow even just a couple of feet off the shore off these rocky shore here not much sand here at the minute um, definitely there was a tide there so I was warned about that tide and uh, absolutely lived up to its name absolutely freezing water as well so that completes the Ackle challenge. Uh, I have had a dip at, in every beach on Ackle Island in one day. So that's the bronze level. Yeah. Um, just having a dip, you know, anything from one minute to even five minutes 
uh, in those beaches. So, uh, really good day. Spent most of the day shivering in the car. Had a big uh, break over lunch there. So, there it is, 20 past five or whatever now. And uh, great to do it. Lovely beaches here in Agal. But during the summer it'd be better. Um, more time and plan it a bit better as well. That, that would do. Maybe lunch in the middle somewhere. Because I haven't had any since breakfast. So, great day. Great swimming. Just going to warm up here at the, with my new jacket on. Okay, thank you very much. That is the Agile Challenge.